Hello and welcome uh, to the learning of the second part of car reservation through MADS. Uh, here we'll be learning a little bit um, of the recap of uh, um, car availability and then uh, change to the car availability display in MADS and then we'll be trying to sell the car segments uh, through MADS uh, within a PNR. So, uh, as we discussed before in the first part of the learning, it's a CA stands for car availability. And suppose I'm, I'm checking car availability in the uh, near to the airport Frankfurt and the uh, date of arrival at the Frankfurt airport is say 12th of January. And it's a uh, return to the airport from the hotel. It would be say on uh, 17th of January and uh, uh, the arrival time at the airport on 12th of January that is the pickup time of the guest from the airport say it's uh, 0900 and the drop time on 17th of January at the airport is uh, say it's 1300 okay so this is the way we uh, found the availability display there are different ways of checking this availability display okay I, I, I can uh, have the same display in a different way like 12th of January and five days later so I can mention here five that's okay perfectly okay the same display will be coming once again and suppose I want um, not 9, rather I would be putting here 9 a.m. in the morning and it's 1 p.m. So that's also perfectly okay. Okay, so this is the way we, we found the uh, car reservation availability display. And uh, suppose I would like to do some kind of modification to this entry. What are the modifiers? I mean, uh, how I can make a change to this availability display? Like, I want to change the date of arrival at Frankfurt Airport. It's not 12th of January. I want to make it, uh, say, um, 10th of January. How can I do that? CA, then forward slash. This is the change information then dt dt stands for the uh, pickup date uh, from the airport and instead of 12th of january i would like to make it 10th of january now fine it's uh, coming on 10th of January to Frankfurt Airport and returning from Frankfurt Airport on 17th of January. So this display is changed. I would like to change this uh, return date uh, from 17th of January to say uh, 22nd of January. How can I make it? CA forward slash DD, not DT, DD and it's 22nd January. You got it yeah it's now 22nd of January suppose I would like to change both of the dates like it's 8th of January and this is 18th of January can I make that yes C A D T. it's a uh, 08 January and 18 January okay so both the dates changed I would like to change the arrival time at Frankfurt Airport, which was before 9 a.m. I would like to make it say um, 8 a.m. How can I make that? C A again A R R dash 0800. So before it was 9, now it's 8 a.m. in the morning. I'd like to change this uh, 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 from 13. Uh, hours that means 1 p.m. to say 3 p.m. that's 1500 hours can I make it yes that's also possible dt slash arr keep the original time of arrival that is 0800 
at the airport 0800 and the return time is changed now 1500 okay mm -hmm. sorry sorry not a dt it's a ca Okay, suppose um, I would like to check the um, vehicle type here is CMR. What is the meaning of ECMR? We know that CG dash ECMR. Okay, I'd like to find um, uh, what is the vehicle code? Uh, I mean the, the um, car type CDMR. Can I check it? Okay, I displayed something else um, other than the availability display. I want to go back to the previous availability display. How can I do that? MP, MP means move previous car availability, MPCA. No car display active now. Had it been active, you could have found it once again. Can I do that? Okay, that was the car availability display. The display has expired during this time when I was doing this, it's the, the, the kind of changes. Like I had some uh, card, what's that type display? MPCA. Okay, no card displays are active. So this particular entry is not working properly. Can I do in this way? Suppose I've ignored it, MPC. Is it working? No, it's not working. Anyway, it was working um, uh, sometime before, but not now. Let me go for the uh, uh, car availability display with some um, other modifiers. Okay, so this was the original car availability display and um, I would like to filter it um, with, with a particular car company code like I want only the Fox travel um, cars I don't want a visa I want I don't want Hodge I want don't want budget I want only FX so how can I filter that okay CA filter and change V no sorry V C O C O means it's a company and then it's FX FX stands for only Fox so now it would be filtering out only fox would be coming here you see here only fox fx is coming and uh, no uh, ze no zi no zd nothing is there so it's only fox travel taxis are there fx okay so we have filtered it out now let me go to the original car reservation display and i want to filter now according to the uh, what's that uh, vehicle type I want all the vehicles uh, which are uh, not MCMR not ECMR or um, CDMR I only want ECMR uh, type of vehicles can I do that the same way CA then let me put a vehicle type ECMR I want only ECMR economic compact manual transmission air conditioned ECMR only ECMR is filtered out okay some exception is here CDMR is coming also okay so uh, suppose I want to filter only uh, the uh, what's that uh, say uh, mini compact automatic transmission and what's that N no air condition can I do that VT dash a mini compact automatic no air condition can I find such kind of vehicles yes 
Uh, no, it's not possible. Uh, nearly um, similar information is given. It's with a angular bracket here. The is equal to sign is not coming. In the previous uh, display, you find whatever my uh, request, uh, we got the exact same request. That's why we found that is equal to symbol was coming. But when it was not uh, is equal to and plus means that means some extra was added a part of that entry I mean the request was uh, changed modified and here I could not find anything that uh, that matching to my request that's why you are finding a greater than symbol is called that means alternate option is given the uh, the option which I requested that was not available okay so this is the way we try to make a change to the uh, existing availability display and uh, now um, uh, let us try to sell a car segment within the uh, start PNR before that we should be trying to find what are the rules or the policies associated with a particular car uh, availability display segment or, or line so this is a car um, availability display I would like to find all the conditions all the terms or all the or what are those called car terms associated with a particular line like in the line number six I want to find its a vis a taxi I want to find its policies so the the entry should be CT CT means its car terms and the line number is six this particular entry was existing and it was working perfectly fine um almost a year back but this entry is not working anymore uh, let me try whether this entry is working nowadays or not no so it's not working anymore rather it's asking me to go for the car rate features so uh, the the car terms feature is not working anymore even see if the car feature entry is not working anymore cf6 unknown transaction these entries are not working anymore instead of this we have only one entry which was existing before and existing now also it's a uh, car rules CR then the the line number of that particular um, uh, availability that's line number suppose it's a six sixth line it would be giving me all the different car uh, I mean policies associated with that particular uh, I'm lying it would be giving me the rates what are the different rates and uh, uh, the policies like uh, what is the earliest time available time and what is the latest available time and how many days a week it is available all that information would be given move down for more information MD so the rate is finished here extra our charge is 3533.31 and uh, before that uh, this was the charge uh, for our request and location surcharge uh, inclusive um, in estimated 24.50 percentage uh, these are the uh, the location surcharges okay so uh, at certain locations then coverage what is covered within this uh, price so collision damage waiver theft protection personal accident insurance all these are covered move down then coverage after that coverage what are the special equipment associated with this particular car rental service that is q means scq uh, winter tires are there child seat for baby child booster seat and then roadside assistance then additional driver all these things are available uh, special equipments then uh, like a vehicle type all the vehicle types uh, uh, here it's given MCMR vehicle type and what is the meaning of all that it's uh, given here then advance booking two hours advance booking required that means before we board the taxi or our customer boards the taxi we have to give the um, I mean the guarantee uh, for, for our reservation for our uh, reservation how we are going to make the payment so 
uh, that's advanced booking means we have to sorry it's not advanced booking means it's not like that advanced booking means we have to generate a confirmation number in our reservation system that we have made a car reservation before two hours of i mean uh, receiving the car service so at least two hours before we have to make the reservation confirmed guarantee 365 days guarantee until 2nd of december 2023 if booked today that means if i'm making a reservation today and this this reservation would be existing in my pnr it would be staying in my pnr for 365 days um so up to one year i can make a reservation i can uh, guarantee a reservation i can guarantee a confirmation rate code information uh, okay these are the rate code information zero g i w w s c u p v a l p p these are the codes you'll be finding when we'll be making the sales location information so what are the locations here and we we found that for certain locations extra charge is there okay and uh, frankfurt terminal number zero one the operation hour is 6 a.m to 22.00. that means starting from 6 a.m in the morning till 10 p.m this is the duration which in which you have to use this car if you are exceeding this duration then you will be paying extra hour charges okay then remark rmk is there so no more items are there in this way we can find the the policies rules associated with the car that is available in line number six of this availability display okay i want to find a particular part of this rule like i want to find oh, what are the uh, special equipments given in this uh, in this particular car availability display i can do in this way i can go for cr6 what is that cr car rules or policies in line number six slash seq seq as for special equipment you have seen it where is that yes so this is SCQ and you can find here SCQ means it will be giving me special equipment. Sorry, the car availability display has expired now. It was done a little bit before. Hmm. Okay, line number six and I want to find what are the special equipment associated with this line number six taxi. Uh, then you are finding that a rate service is coming at the top it would be coming always at the top and in the second line it would be coming the what's that special equipment because we source for special equipment suppose i want to find the uh, what's that um, uh, coverage what is covered under this car uh, reservation so i can do in this way uh, cr6 line number then cov so the rate is coming at the top and in the second line the coverage would be coming so this coverage is coming what is covered within this coverage version uh, i would like to find uh, the guarantee so what is guaranteed okay can i find here the similar way cr6 geua so rate is coming at the top and then okay guarantee is there 365 days guarantee okay so this is the way we can find a particular part of the policy as associated with a particular taxi from the availability display line okay and now let me make a pnr to um, make a reservation or make a sale of a car um, segment within that pnr and then one let me put my name here and uh, and uh, suppose i am traveling from uh, lisbon to frankfurt on 12th of january and i want to book an air segment on air portugal it's uh, say here in e class Okay, let me book a seat and then I'm returning say uh, from Frankfurt uh, on say 18th of January again I want to take a Air Portugal flight here in E-class and let me book it so my PNR is 
on the way of construction i would like to find a car for my stay during my stay at frankfurt so i'll be picked up from frankfurt airport and i'll be dropped at frankfurt airport on 18th of january and uh, during that stay uh, starting from 12th of january till 18th of january i'll be using the taxi so can i do in that way hmm. c a s 2 it's for the air segment line number two i'm finding a car availability okay okay can i can i change this uh, to a particular currency like i do not want to uh, find the car availability uh, i mean the rates in in indian rupees i would like to find in euro you see here these are the converted rates at the rate symbol is coming and let me try if i can put here slash f c e u r euro so as this this is the european destination definitely the the price would be published in euro currency not in indian rupees now you see fox travel is not publishing in euro that's why the the red symbol is coming but all other companies are publishing their rates in euro currency okay so the total amount i need to pay is 234.67 and uh, uh, for um, alamo taxi for enterprise also the same one so these are the uh, different kind of tariffs uh, for my taxi and uh, let me sell a particular taxi which is available in line number eight can i sell that it's uh, cs c means car cell then line number eight eight or seven okay eight i've sold the car in line number eight you find here the car is sold here and as it is with a uh, what's that complete access plus um a service that's why the confirmation number is released immediately and this is the confirmation number car confirmation number or the cf number you can find here this is the confirmation number generated pretty much similar to the airline record locator this is a confirmation number generated for my reservation and the booking source uh, where i can find my item number is going there uh, because uh, this this is the way they can make a confirmation that this service is received from a recognized travel agency and they can trust us uh, so this is the way we can find the a car reservation is going to be converted but always you know the car reservation is not confirmed uh, this way they may need a guarantee uh, of payment means advance payment information they require at times so what should i do i will be selling the car segment but i'll be putting a card information for the guarantee of my payment so let me cancel it xc3 okay the same way i'm going for the car reservation uh, sorry um, availability display then i'll be selling the uh, the car segment CS I, I wanted the eighth line car and then I'll be putting the guarantee here GG stands for the guarantee of the payment CCVI and my test card number as you know this is my test card number EXP say it is expiring in the month of October and in the year 2026 so this is the way I could attach a payment information so you find here that payment information is attached and we are getting a confirmation number my booking source is attached here with uh, you can find when the car is uh, um, uh, given for the service to the customer it's uh, mcmr means it's a mini compact car with uh, manual transmission and uh, air condition is there and you see uh, it's on 12th of january at frankfurt airport it will be arriving at 12 30 which is my arrival time at the airport and that's my pickup time from the airport on 12th of january and i'll be dropped at the airport frankfurt airport and that would be 
uh, on what it that would be on 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 uh, my return travel date which is 18th of January you can find 18th of January I will be dropped at the Frankfurt Airport it's 18th of January and my drop time would be 6 a.m. is my my departure time from Frankfurt Airport and the return time is 0500 one hour before the actual uh, what's that departure time so before at least before that uh, I'll be dropped so this is the latest drop time I can request to the car company if I would like to change this this drop time not 5 uh, rather I would like to be dropped at uh, say uh, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning because in international travel i may need three hours of uh, check-in time that's why i would like to make a change to this uh, what's that a departure time from uh, frankfurt airport to lisbon so i can make a change to this particular reservation suppose i would like to change in this way how can i do the change it's line number say three slash slash is to make a change I'd like to make a change to the arrival time so while uh, I'll be coming from the airport uh, so 12 30 is my uh, arrival time at Frankfurt Airport I'll be going through the custom clearance I'll be going for the baggage clearance uh, so for that purpose I may need one hour time so I would like to change this uh, pickup time from Frankfurt Airport not 12 30 rather I would like to make it to uh, say um, what would be that say uh, 13 30 one hour i have added and while i'll be dropped at the frankfurt airport it would not be 0500 i would like to make it a 0300 can i make a change so it's 1300 dash find the uh, pickup time is now on 12th of January it is changed to 1300 hours not 1230 and uh, uh, my drop time at the airport on on the day of return it would be uh, it, it is now changed to 3 a.m. in the morning not as uh, 5 a.m. in the morning so I'll be getting sufficiently before the uh, departure time uh, from the Frankfurt Airport I would like to suppose uh, um, stay at the airport um, um, say on, on on 12th of January I'll be staying at the airport say uh, for a couple of hours uh, say for six hours or seven hours for a meeting at the airport uh, uh, with some of my friends which are coming to the airport and I'll be leaving the airport not on 12th of January rather uh, in the early morning of uh, 13th of January so I'll be staying there say for another um, 18 hours so what would I do I would like to make a change to the uh, date of pickup from the airport from 12th of January to 30th of January can I do that the same way I was making a change to the availability display line number 3 slash DT DT stands for um, change in the what's that arrival time at the airport dash say it's 30th of January okay now you find it's 13th of January I'd like to now make a change to the arrival time not 1300 hours I would like to make a change to, to the arrival time like early morning um, at uh, 1 a.m. can I do that 3 slash a r r 0 1 0 0 so just at the just after the midnight of 12th of June sorry January I will be arriving mm -hmm. oh this taxi company is not working at this time so 
that's creating the trouble as we know this taxi service is not around the clock and, uh, and that's why it is not taking me i mean giving me that time can i take it say like zero six zero zero yes it's taking now so at 6 a.m in the morning on 13th of january i'll be picked up from the frankfurt airport this is the way i can make a change to my existing car reservation and uh, I, I i can add some uh, special equipments if i i would like to uh, whatever that is available within this uh, um, within the policies of this car company i can add three here line number three is the car reservation line and i can put three slots then uh, equipment sq as i can put some equipment i can put a corporate id can i put a corporate id uh, okay three forward slash cd if a corporate id is existing uh, you know what is a corporate id some kind of corporate uh, of Affairs are given by the airlines, taxi companies, hotels, etc. That's why I can put a corporate ID to better to get a better discount. Say my corporate ID is this month. If such a as such a corporate ID would be existing, definitely I can get some kind of discount and it would be entertained. Otherwise, it will not be entertained. Okay, unable to process complete access. Then can I put a personal ID of the person? ID say uh okay can i put some personal id no it's unable to process this kind of entries was working at some point of time but now this these are not working okay and uh, i'd like to uh, do some kind of modification uh, sorry i i wanted to do uh, some kind of modification on this car reservation and i could do that uh, suppose I would like to cancel this reservation, car reservation, then XE number 3. It's cancelled without any trouble. As you know, the money will not be charged from the customer's car as long as the customer has not boarded the uh, taxi and the amount will be charged by some companies at some uh, locations you may find the amount is charged at the time of boarding the taxi and some other taxes or uh, other charges should be done at the end of your uh, your service but most of the times you will find the total amount would be charged from the customer's card at the end of the uh, i mean service when the person would be dropped at the airport for the return travel the amount will be charged from the customer's card just before that it would be charged and these are the different kind of policies by different car companies which is not mentioned actually within the car rules and policies here in GDS and uh, that's, that's the general practice. With that, we came to the end of the car reservation uh, through Amadeus. Thank you.